the maximum power developed by the wind maximum power developed by the wind is given by p max is equal to one half rho a v cube now what is rho what is a and what is v this p max is nothing but what maximum power developed its unit will be in terms of kilowatt or we can say it as a watt then rho is nothing but what density of air its unit will be kg per meter cube and its general value is 1.21 kg per meter cube if it is not given in the numericals then a is nothing but what rotor swept area its unit will be area will be in terms of meter square and formula will be pi r square then v is equal to wind velocity what is unit of wind velocity meter per second what is formula for maximum power developed p max is equal to one half rho a into v cube huh? p max is maximum power developed it might be in terms of kilowatt or watt depending upon in which units we have taken rho a and v now rho is nothing but density of air its value is generally 1.21 kg per meter cube a is rotor swept area which is equal to pi r square and v is nothing but wind velocity now the theoretical extracted power from the wind is given by p e is equal to one half rho a v cube into c p here p e is nothing but what theoretical extracted power from the wind rho is nothing but what a density of the air its value is 1.21 a is rotor swept area v is nothing but wind velocity and what is cp cp is nothing but what coefficient of performance coefficient of coefficient of performance and its value general value taken is 16 by 27 and this value is taken from which law base law theoretical extracted power is given by p e is equal to one half rho a v cube into c p uh, already we are knowing rho is density of air which is 1.21 kg per meter cube a is nothing but rotor swept area which is equal to pi r square v is nothing but wind velocity and c p is coefficient of performance and its general value is 16 by 27 according to Bayes law let us solve a numerical on wind turbine determine the wind power in the wind if the wind speed is means velocity is given 20 meter per second and blade length means r is given that is 50 meter then density is given 1.23 kg per meter cube and what they have asked us to calculate they have asked to calculate the power at the wind power developed at the wind or power developed by the wind turbine now how we can calculate it now what is the formula power developed by the wind p max is equal to one half rho a into v cube that is equal to one half into density is 1.23 into how we can calculate area this area is nothing but rotor swept area that is equal to pi into r square r is how much 50 into velocity velocity is how much 20 meter per second 20 cube that is equal to how much i will get 38.64 megawatt or I can write 38.64 into 10 raised to 3 kilo 
वर्ड लेट अस सॉल्व अनदर न्यूमेरिकल ऑन विंड टर्बाइन ए विंड टर्बाइन ब्लेड हैज 15 मीटर लॉन्ग मींस व्हाट इज गिवन आर इज इक्वल टू 15 मीटर विंड स्पीड वी इज इक्वल टू हाउ मच 20 मीटर पर सेकंड density of air is given 1.335 kg per meter cube calculate the power produced by the turbine if it has 30 percent efficiency efficiency is equal to how much 30 percent now see here as all these things are given radius then velocity and density let us calculate maximum power developed at wind turbine that is equal to one half rho a v cube that is equal to one half into 1.335 into pi r square that is rotor swept area pi into 15 square into cube of velocity this maximum power will come around it will come around 3.77 megawatt and we are knowing that efficiency is equal to extracted power at wind divided by maximum power developed by the wind therefore extracted power at wind is equal to efficiency into P max that is equal to 0 0.3 into 3.77 it might came around extracted power is equal to 1.0391 megawatt